In episode 13 of Windbreaker, Sakura and the rest of the grade captains, along with their secondaries, meet the formidable four kings of Bofurin and Omemiya. Nirei takes the lead, introducing the four kings, Tasuku Tsubakino, head of the Jikoku team, Saku Mizuki, head of the Komoku team, Takumi Mamoso, head of the Zojo team, and Toma Hiragi, head of the Taman team. Omemiya then steps in to welcome the grade captains, expressing his gratitude for their support and emphasizing how much he relies on them to help their friends and the people. As Sakura and her friends stroll through the streets later that day, they unexpectedly encounter a group of hooded strangers. These individuals, known to be from a notorious and dangerous team called Kiel, are searching for a particular person, heightening the tension. The situation escalates when they discover an injured classmate, Anzai, in a dark alley. Despite the numerous encouragements from his friends, Anzai lies about the origin of his bruises and leaves, pretending to be cheerful. The concern among his friends grows, but they are left in the dark about the real situation. Later, Anzai meets with his childhood friend, and their conversation revolves around a person named Nagato, who seems to be entangled with Kiel. Sakura, who had followed Anzai, meets the girl, and tells her that he heard everything, and asks her to reveal what happened. Anzai's childhood friend explains that the three of them were once very close, with Nagato being the kindest and quietest among them. However, things took a drastic turn one day when Anzai caught a purse snatcher in town, only to discover that it was Nagato, now a member of Kiel. Anzai has since been trying to bring Nagato back but has been reluctant to involve Bofurin, knowing that the team's mission is to protect the town, believing that Nagato's situation is his personal problem. Sakura, determined to help, promises to bring Nagato back, giving hope to Anzai's friend. The narrative then shifts to the classroom, where Anzai receives a mysterious letter. Without hesitation, he dashes out, with Sakura in close pursuit. He manages to seize the letter, which contains a disturbing picture of Nagato being beaten up, along with instructions on where Anzai should go to meet him. This revelation prompts Anzai to finally open up to Sakura about the entire story. Anzai recounts the events following the purse snatching incident. He had followed Nagato and witnessed him being bullied by Kiel members for not bringing enough money. When Anzai intervened, Nagato, while visibly crying, confronted him. The situation had been dire, and Anzai barely escaped from the Kiel members. Anzai highlights Nagato's underlying strength and the severity of the situation, indicated by his rare display of tears. Understanding the gravity of the situation, Sakura decides to accompany Anzai to the location mentioned in the letter, emphasizing the importance of standing by their classmates in times of need. In a touching turn of events, the entire class, having overheard the conversation between Sakura and Anzai, decides to join them. Together, they set out for Kiel's hangout, determined to confront the threat and rescue Nagato. As they leave, Kaji and the second years notice their juniors heading out, marking the beginning of a united front against Kiel. And that's it for this episode and this season. Stay tuned for more. Thanks for watching.